guys, welcome to my channel. Today, let's learn HSK three, Unit two. 他什么时候回来？他什么时候回来 ？When will he come back? So first, let's do warm up exercise. So match the pictures with the words. And so let's look at the words first. So the first one, 伞伞 that means umbrella. So we need to choose F, right? So next one, 经理经理 that means manager. 经理 manager. So choose C. Next, 办公室办公室 office. Choose D. So if you do not know how to pronounce this one, and please follow me after my pronunciation and just practice. Okay, practice practice more. That helps you to pronounce well. And four. So 脚脚 third tone 脚 So we need to choose A, right? 脚 And next, 楼楼 That means building. Building, so we choose E here, and six, 树树 and choose B, right? So the answer answers are F, C, D, A, E, and B. Is that right? So next, let's learn that how to、uh, express. Uh, direction. That how to uh, use the complement of the direction. So the first,、uh, let's look at the picture. And this boy, open is opening the door, and maybe he wants someone to come in, right? Come inside. So we can say, come in, ah,、uh, come in. That means 进来进来 come in. So go out. Go out. We need to choose. Ah,、uh, we need to say, 出去出去 So when we want to express that um a verb and follow a complement that expresses the direction, and we use 来 That means if you were the speaker, and 来 means that the direction come to you. So you are the speaker in the central, and when you say 过来 so come here. That means someone. From the other side and come to you, so like this one, this direction. And next, so when we say 去 so 去 that means we go far from the speaker. We go far from the speaker. So we can say 出去 that the speaker is here and 去 so go the other side and go to other directions. So 来 and 去 So do you understand? And can you distinguish this one now? And next, so、um, in Chinese, that verb "I'd lie" and "chu" indicates the direction of action. So with "lie" indicating the direction towards the speaker, and "chu" so direction away from speaker.、Uh, if you have this HSK three, and you can also、uh, open this book on Unit two. So the most Frequently、uh, used a verb including 上 up that means up 下 down 进出回过 and 起 so as well as some verbs we learned so 呃上 means up and 下 means down 进 means in 出 means out so 回回 means that、uh, turn back 过 means that Pass, 起 means up. Okay, so here, uh, such as 买买 means buy, right? 带 take and 搬搬 means move. 搬 so 搬这盆花搬 <coughs> And uh, so the example, 我们在楼上等你呢 So we are waiting for you. Um, on downstairs. Um,、oh, sorry, in upstairs. And 你上来吧 So you come up. You go upstairs. 上来 So towards the direction towards the speaker, right? 
because the speaker is in the ups, uh, uh, upstairs. And next one, so if the object is a place and it should uh, uh, recite Lai and Chu. So for example, this one, mm, where are uh, here? Xiao so that means uh, the dog uh, goes downstairs to eat something. And next, Lao So here, Jiao Shi means classroom. Sorry. So, classroom. It a uh, place is a place, right? So the teacher enters in classroom and to have a class. And so this class, a place noun, and we need to put before lie after the verb and uh, before lie. Okay, so put in the middle of the verb and lie or two. So next one, uh, seven. 朋友回家去了。So friend, friend goes home. A friend went home, went back home. And 回家, so that means go back home. 去了, also we need to put 家 before 去. Let's read again. 朋友回家去了, friends went back home. Next, 我上楼去了。So So 我上楼去。uh, without the sorry, okay, and this one. So if the object is a thing, it can be put before or after lie or chu. For example, this uh, number nine. 明天要带作业来. So tomorrow should take homework. 带作业, so 作业, it's a thing, homework, right? 来, and we can put before. And this one, 帮我买来点面包, please help me to buy some bread. So here, 面包, 点面包, uh, some bread, that means uh, put after this lie here. And next one, Okay, so text one. So on the way going down the mountain. So here, um, the here, are pinyin and the news word, new words on the right. So first learn the new words. Tui, like, tui, like, tong, tong, hurt, painful, hurt, painful, jiao, foot, jiao, foot. 树, tree, 树, tree. 容易, easy, 容易, easy. So the sixth, 难, difficult, 难, difficult. Okay, let's read this one. 休息一下吧, 怎么了? So take a break, 怎么了? What happened? 我现在腿也疼, 脚也疼, so my feet and my legs are painful now. 好,那边树多,我们过去坐一下吧。So alright, there are many trees over there. Let's go there and take a seat. 上来的时候,我怎么没觉得这么累。So I didn't feel so tired when I came, uh, sorry, when I uh, climbed upstairs, 上来的时候. Next, 上山容易,下山难. So climbing tr uh, mountains is easy, and uh, go down the mountains is difficult. 你不知道? 你不知道? So this is um, Chinese old saying, like, 上山容易,下山难. I think it makes sense, right? It makes sense. So um, let's read the, the long sentence from here. So 我现在腿也疼, 脚也疼. So 也 means also. 也 also or too. And next, 
，上来的时候我怎么没觉得这么累？上来的时候我怎么没觉得这么累？上山容易，下山难，你不知道。Okay, that's a very interesting dialogue and conversation. Let's do the next one on the phone. So, new words first. 太太 Miss, Madam. 太太秘书 Secretary, 秘书 Secretary. 经理 Manager, 经理 Manager. 办公室办公室 Office. Zhou, so proper nouns. Zhou, a surname. 周明，周明 ，a name of a person. Okay, let's read this uh dialogue here. 喂，你好，请问周明在吗、uh, ？Hello, um, is 周明 here? So may I ask, is 周明 here? 周经理出去了，不在办公室。So a manager Joe went out. He is not in the office. 他去哪儿了？什么时候回来 ？So where does he go? 什么？嗯、um, ，So when will he come back? 他出去办事了，下午回来。He went out to do some stuff or to,、uh, have some other things, and he will back at afternoon. 回来了就让他给我打个电话。回来了就让他给我打个电话。So when he comes back, and please call him. Ah,、uh, please let him to call me. And next, 好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。他到了办公室，我就告诉他。So after he arrives the office, and I will tell him. So, ah,、uh, here this dialogue that, um, happens that two actions always, ah,、uh, the. Action one and happened first, and action two、um, happened、uh, for after this one. So let's、uh, learn this grammar about so verb one and verb two, and we can talk about what are you doing,、uh, what are you going to do after you finish doing each things. So the first one、uh, example, 起床 So first thing you 起床 <coughs> 你起床 right? And next one. You will eat breakfast, right? So the verb one and verb two, or the action one and action two. So let's talk about 吃饭 So action one, 吃饭 and action two, we can say 上学 right? 吃饭 first happened first, and 上学 happened the second. So how to express that? Uh, first, uh, uh have <clears throat> first, uh, uh, eating breakfast. And then I will go to school. So here, this example: 吃完饭我就去上学 So after finish eating breakfast, I will go to school. Right? <coughs> Sorry. So here, let's、uh, learn this one. Verb one at l and 就 Verb two, so action one, l and two, action two. So it's the name of successful occurrence of two actions. So in Chinese, verb one, at l and two, verb two can be used to indicate two actions that occurred successfully. So which the second immediately following the first. For example, so 我下了课就吃饭 So Um, I finished class, and then I go to eat immediately, like this one. 下了课就吃饭 So here, 了 uh, before 了下 that is a verb, and 就 after 就 here 吃饭 it's another verb. So two actions. Next, 妈妈起了床就做早饭 So mom got up. And then, cook, cooks for breakfast. Next, 小刚拿了伞就下来 So 小刚 takes umbrella and then goes downstairs. Uh, here this one. So in a sentence with two subjects, and the second subject should be.
put right before 就 For example, so two subjects. So the first subject 你下了课 So after you finish, uh, your class, 我们就去书店 Then we will go to bookstore. Okay. So do you understand now? Remember two actions that which occur successfully、uh, with the second immediately following the first one. The text three new words. So the first liang, liang, and lou. So liang means used for vehicles. It's a major word. 一辆车 a car. Lou means building. Lou means building. And na to take, to take na. Next, ba, major word used for things with with a、uh, handle. Next, san umbrella san. Okay, next. 雨下的真大。你怎么回去 ？So the raining um it's raining so heavily. 你怎么回去 ？How will you go back? 我送你吧。I take you back home. 没事儿。我叫我出去叫辆出租车就行了。That's okay. I will go out and take a taxi. 我出去叫辆出租车就行了。Next, 那你等等。So then, please wait. 我上楼去给你拿把伞。I will go upstairs and give you uh take you an umbrella. 拿把伞。拿 means to take. 把 is a major word. So, an <coughs> umbrella. So, take an umbrella for you. 好的，我跟你一起上去吧。Okay, I will go upstairs with you. 你在这儿等吧。我拿了伞就下来。你在这儿等吧。You wait here. 我拿了伞就下来。I take this umbrella, then I will go downstairs. Okay. So the the last one <coughs> at home. New words: pun, pun, fat. 其实 actually, 其实 actually, show, thin, show, thin. So here, 你看我这么胖，怎么办呢 ？Look, I'm so fat. <coughs> Sorry, how should I do? 怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉。你 you 每天晚上 every evening 吃了饭就睡觉 ，so having dinner and then you sleep， 也不出去走走 ，so you don't go out for walking， 能不胖吗 ？How could you be thin？ 不胖 ？How could you be not fat？ 能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动。Actually, I do sports every day. 但是你一点儿也没瘦。Oh, that's very, uh, that's hers, right? That's very sad to listen this one. 但是你一点儿也没瘦。But you, you didn't get slim at all. 你做什么运动了 ？So, 我你做什么运动了 ？So, what kind of sports, uh, did you do? 做饭啊 ，Okay, the answer is perfect. 做饭啊，做饭 means cooking, right? That's very interesting dialogue. And next, so, uh, we have the last grammar, and, uh, uh that with its positive form, uh, form meaning, the negative, and the negative form meaning the positive. So, example. In Chinese, that is very different, uh, different from, uh. English and for this one, A said, 为什么我的汉语学的不好？为什么我的汉语学的不好 ？So why I cannot learn Chinese well? 你不做作业 ，so you do not do homework， 也不练习 ，and you do not practice， 能学好吗 ？So how can you learn it well? So that. Indicating you cannot learn that learn it well because you do not do homework and you do not do the practice. Okay, so the grammar. Um, after this one, and we finish our unit two. And if you have some questions, and you can give me comments. And next time we'll learn unit three. So see you next time, please. 
有没有 like？ 拜拜。